This is Green Janine with Toss50.com, the other side of 50, in South Melbourne Beach, Florida, part of the Space Coast here in Florida. And I am at the Barrier Island Center with Ray Mohica, who is the manager here at the center, and Ray is going to tell us about sea turtles. Welcome, Ray. Well, thank you. Welcome. We're, um, again, at the Barrier Island Center. We're in the middle of the Archie Tapar National Wildlife Refuge, which was established to protect sea turtle nesting beaches. Um, here in Florida, we have five different species of sea turtles that nest in Florida. Loggerheads, green turtles, leatherbacks, hawksbills, and Kemp's Ridleys. And we have three of them that nest here within the Archie Tapar Refuge. Um, the most common one we have here, too, um, my left is the loggerhead sea turtle. And we also have a fair number of green turtles which have benefited greatly from the conservation efforts here over the last 20 years. And the largest sea turtle that we have nesting in the refuge are leatherbacks, which are upwards of 1,000 pounds. These are, these are life-size renderings. Um, but we have maybe several dozen of these nest every year. Um, each of the three different species uh, eat different types of foods and they have slightly different life histories, but they all come here during the summer months between May and October to lay their eggs on these beaches. Okay, so some of the interesting life history of the sea turtles are that um, they come here, they lay their eggs on our beaches during the summer months, and maybe one in a thousand of those sea turtles will uh, reach maturity. And what's interesting is that when they are adults, they will come back to the same beach from which they were hatched to lay eggs. No one is really sure how they do that, how they can navigate their way back 20 years later. Um, we have here on this map uh, different lights for other important sea turtle nesting beaches, and as you can see, Florida is very, very important for loggerheads, these orange lights. Um, the blue lights here are green sea turtles, which nest throughout the Caribbean. And then leatherbacks uh, nest a little further afield into South America and to Africa. One of the other things that we do here in the refuge is we see where turtles go, where the adult turtles go after they nest on our beaches. And we will tag them, and in some cases put satellite tags on them. So this yellow line here is what a leatherback might do. So a leatherback will leave here follow the Gulf Stream up to the New York Bight, there's Long Island here, Cape Cod, sometimes up into the St. Lawrence Waterway, make their way across to Africa, back to South America, and on a two-year cycle, come back to these very same beaches to lay eggs again. Again, nobody is exactly sure how they can do this. Loggerheads and green turtles, they don't travel as far, but they are essentially on the same pattern of um, going out, feeding, foraging, mating, and then coming back to the same beaches, sometimes on a yearly cycle, sometimes on um, every other year to, to lay their eggs.